Well, I obviously live, I thought, I don't think we, we didn't communicate. Um, she went to the ball and we left them open. I mean, it was, it was definitely a mistake. Um, but yeah, I thought, I thought the game, there were so many other possessions. Uh, we did, we turned the ball over so many times and that led them to some easy buckets in transition, but and a lot of them weren't even forced turnovers, but those are still things that we definitely, after one game, we're going to be able to clean up, but 20, 20 turnovers is a lot, uh, on the road. Ohm. Hey, Scott. Um, obviously not the result you guys wanted, but I'm wondering, uh, Russell Westbrook in his first game as a wizard gets a triple double. What, what did you think of that? And also were there any moments where you and him just connected, like it was back in Oklahoma city again, all over again? Well, I mean, I've said it many times during training camp, the guy is, um, a winning basketball player. He's a winning, uh, teammate. Uh, I've seen it now. It's even better. Uh, it's even better. But he's we have a long history together. But seeing him, seeing him, what he does, as you can see, our, our the intensity level is high. Every possession matters. Uh, he plays through exhaustion. Uh, he's gonna our young players. It's it's gonna be priceless what they're gonna learn from from him and and how he treats everybody is just, it's remarkable. It's definitely, he's, um, he plays the right way. He plays hard and he competes and leaves everything on the floor. He has nothing to be ashamed of the way he played tonight. And, and with this quick turnaround, how, how close is he to being, you know, back to his normal regular season self? Yeah, I mean, it's going to take time. It's going to definitely take time. It's, you know, we've had a, it's not that we not. It's not that the fact that we had a short training camp. We had a short. Uh, normally, we have a month before training camp to have all of our guys in the city. But um, no excuse. You know, I thought. I thought one thing. You win. You win in this league with toughness and defense. And and we did that tonight. We had a chance to win this game by, by the defense and toughness. We gave up 40 points in the fourth quarter. That wasn't uh, that wasn't the case going into the game. I mean, going in during this game, we knew that we had to do these certain things, and we kind of we kind of slipped up in that fourth quarter. But they got they got I think they got like 20, 22 free throws in that second half as well. We fouled a lot. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, Neil. Hey, Coach. Uh, the third quarter, you held them scoreless for almost six minutes, only gave up 15 points. What was the difference between the third quarter defense and the fourth quarter defense? Well, the, that third quarter is crazy. We, we had a, we had so many missed buckets and, uh, and, and turnovers that were unforced. We really could have, you know, we could, I thought we could have had a, a 32 to 34 point quarter offensively, uh, defensively in that fourth quarter, we, they, they found, I mean, Embiid is obviously a great player. He's one of the toughest bigs to guard in this league. And he got the hot hand. He got some some easy buckets. Uh, he's big. He's strong. He's agile. He's quick. He has he has great moves. And we put them on the free throw line too many times in that, that second half as well. John, John Marks. Yes. Hey, Scott. Uh, I know you had a lot of trust in Denny. Would you have liked to have seen him be a little more offensive minded? He hit his two threes and you had him out there, I think, uh, you know, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, what'd you think for a guy playing his first game? And I thought he, I thought he was fantastic. You know, it's, it's, I, I've been there a long, long time ago, that first game, no matter what he tells you, no matter what he told me, I, I know there's some, you know, some butterflies and those are good. He cares. He's passionate. He wants to do well. Um, I thought he, I thought he played well. Can he, can he get some more opportunities offensively? I think that's all gonna, that's all gonna come around. We're gonna have to learn, uh, what he can do better and uh, as the season goes on and he's gonna have to learn how we do things. Uh, but it's all a growing period. I thought he makes winning basketball plays and, and right now, John, that's all I care about. You make winning basketball plays, the offense and the game will reward you. And that's what he does. That's what he's about. That's the, that's the thing. That's the, one of the main things I've noticed from being around the for, for um, a, a week, uh, three weeks that he cares about winning basketball plays. You seem more nervous or anything than usual today. I mean, as you say, you played your first game here and 
you know what it's like, obviously not with, you know, in this environment, but you know, you've seen him here for a month and did he seem any different? No, you know what? I asked him and he said, no, but I know deep down there's some, there's some, you know, some butterflies like I, but I said, those are good. Uh, the guys that don't have butterflies, probably are the guys that just, you know what? I just go through the motion. I'm just a skilled player and I, I'm lucky enough to be on a team with guys that play with passion, that care, you know, the, the, the results matter and we're not happy. There's no moral victory. Last year, I thought we had, you know, uh, just a different mindset, not good or bad. It's just, we were in a different place. Uh, this year, there's no moral victories. We got to come out and keep competing. We competed hard enough. We, we defended uh, for the most part, not, not, not bad. Take away some of those points in the fourth quarter, but fouling the turnovers, Turnovers led to them. I mean, we could have had, it could have easily been, you know, 125, 130 point game for us. Thanks. Ben Standing. Hey, Scott. Um, just uh, curious what you thought about Thomas Bryant. Obviously, Joel Embiid is, you know, one of the best centers. But what did you think about Thomas's defense, whether against Embiid or, or anything else around the rim? I thought Thomas competed. That's, uh, that's the thing that I, we challenged him in the bubble. And that was a great experience for us. Uh, we were short-handed, but he stepped up on the defensive end because we needed it. And just the game is like a lot, a lot of for the bigs. It takes you know three to four or five years sometimes, sometimes even six, uh, to really see what's coming at you. And, and these guys, these guards, these wing players are coming at you pretty fast. They're dynamic. They're offensive-minded. But I think he's he's in training camp. I I've seen another step and. He's going to have to keep growing on the defensive end. We need we need him to be de defensive, and I think he will. Uh, but tonight was a it was a, he has one of the hard hardest um, players to guard in the league, and I thought he did a pretty good job. Brent, hey Scott, uh, beginning of the third quarter, you guys were really stifling their offense. They had like a five and a half minute period where they didn't score. What was working well for the defense during that time? Well, I think our switching, you know, we've been focusing on paying attention. Don't, don't have those, you know, those uh, split second. Oh, what can I say? Oh crap moments. And I, I thought, I thought we didn't have many of those. And when you when you play the way we want to play, it takes all guys to lock in. Because one guy makes makes a mistake, and a good team like Philadelphia, this is potentially a championship uh, team. We competed with them by by by, ch by challenging them and not giving anything easy. I thought that third quarter we did a great job of our switches and frustrated them a little bit. And we'll take the last question from Chase. Yeah, Scott. Sorry if you've been asked about this already, but. What what'd you think about Brad? Uh, it seemed like he had a lot more space on offense and, and was able to just kind of patiently go to work. Well, there's a another, I mean, there's a, another all NBA player that he's uh, teaming up with. And when you have that, uh, the thing that it opens things up and DB and some of our guys that came back, uh, just their experience, they know how to play. We want to play fast. We want to play good to great uh, shots. And he's Brad's, Brad was terrific tonight. You know, he had a few too many turnovers, Russell as well. But I thought the space was good. Uh, Brad's efficient. And Brad is as efficient as, as you can be. He's a, he's a two-way player. He, he makes uh, makes good plays. He made a lot of great decisions tonight. We just, Like I said, we had 20 turnovers. But we competed. We fought. Uh, we know we can compete with every team in the league if we, we have that same mindset, and we will. That's what we are about, right? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, me personally, I think it was the winning time, the last four minutes of the game, we really got to lock in and uh, and be in tune to what's going on on both ends of the floor. I think a lot of times on the defensive end, the miscommunications we gave, I think Ben Simmons, like two easy dunks at the rim, uh, one a lob and one a dump down. Uh, let kind of Ben Simmons get, I'm not Ben Simmons, Joel and B get it going in the second half. Uh, and then uh, Jake Milton had a great game and then Seth kind of closed them out of closed us out at the end. So it's being able to take shake, being able to take Seth out of the game. And, uh, you know, we know Joel is a, is a hassle down there. We know Ben's going to be aggressive at times. 
Um, but we got to be better job of being locked in, of knowing, you know, the last four minutes we got to win, myself included, getting better shots, knocking down shots, um, not turning the ball over, and just understanding the last four minutes are the, probably the most important in the game, especially when we're up 10. Ava? Hey, Brad. Um, just kind of going off of that, what's your takeaway considering all of the other factors that, you know, Scott Brooks came in, he said turnovers, that's something you could clean up. Learning how to close out a game, that's something maybe a young team can improve on. What's kind of your attitude, I guess, after this? I mean, we don't like moral victories, but, I mean, we, we feel good about where we are. Um, we, we like the way we played. We feel like we played and did enough to win the game. Uh, and we didn't even play great. You know, DB wasn't on all his minutes tonight. Uh, I could have played a lot better, could have been a lot more aggressive, especially down the stretch. And uh, and I think we we – we got we got what we need. And granted, we got Rui out. We got guys, you know, kind of mending their way back in. So it's uh, you know, more victories. But we, it was I liked what we the way we played. I liked the way we played. We fought back, got down early. We fought back, clawed it, and ended up taking a ten point plus lead and we gave it up at the end. So you know, I kind of put that one on my shoulders to be able to close us out more. But you know, we have a young team. The more they're in these situations, the better we'll be. Fred. To hey Brad, uh, when Embiid is in the post and you're kind of stunting off your man at him and every once in a while you go double and every once in a while you don't, what's what's the trick to reading that situation properly? Well, I don't really want to give away our defensive concepts for it, but uh, it's just making them, making them uncomfortable, you know, giving them different looks. You know, at times we would double, at times we would. We know he's, a, he's, he's the focal point. The ball is going through Embiid every single play, you know, so... Uh, that was imperative for us to make sure that he sees bodies, make them pass the ball, you know, make them pick up the ball and make different plays and force somebody else to make a play. Because he's a hassle down there. We can't expect, you know, TB and, and Rolo to be able to be battling them, you know, night in and night out. We got to be able to have some help, show some bodies, show some hands, and make a difference. And, and uh, start of the third quarter, you guys held them scoreless for like five and a half straight minutes or something like that. Could yep. you feel the defensive momentum building up in those moments? 100%. You know, it's just a matter of your will and you you wanting to get in the stance and defend, you know, so I took pride in that. Uh, Chase? Oh, bad. That was mad loud. Okay. You know, I, took, I took pride in that. I think we all took pride in it. You know, we, we weren't guarding the way we knew we could in the first half. We came out in the second half way more physical, more talkative, got our switching together. And uh, and we cleaned up a lot of stuff that we, we we kind of were slipping up on in the first half. So from this standpoint, it was great. It was great to, to see that we were able to make those adjustments on the fly. Uh, but at the same time, we got we got to be better. We got we got to win the game. Chase, Brad, obviously not the result you wanted, but what was your impression of just the new look roster with the new pieces and what it maybe changed for you? What it allowed you to do individually off on offense and defense? Well, I'm always – my biggest thing this year is being committed on the defensive end. You know, I have Coach Longo holding me accountable. I have everybody holding me accountable, you know, because if I'm not in the stands and I'm not active, then, you know, that doesn't get my team going either. You know, Russ does the same thing. So, once we both are in the stands and we're ready to go, defensively we're locked in. You know, we, we – that it's a direct carryover for everybody else. So, me personally, my offense is – it's I'm not worried about it. I, mean, I was never worried about it. I'm confident in my game, confident in my skills. It's a matter of getting some more wind under me. Uh, but at the same time, you know, my biggest goal mentally is is being better on the defensive end individually and as a team, you know, because that's what's going to win us games. That's, going to, that's what's going to help us come play out. Neil. Hey, Brad, uh, you guys had 20 turnovers as a team. You had a few as, as well. What did Philadelphia do to make it difficult? And how do you think you guys can clean that up moving forward? Oh, it's crazy. I don't really think I'm not going to take any credit away from them. Uh, you know, they're big, they're active, they're long. Uh, you know, they're really good defenders. But at the same time, I don't think they did a lot that altered us. I think we had a lot of careless passes. A lot of them slipped out of our hands a couple of times. I had like one or two slip out of my hand, rust the same. But it's just a matter of just taking care of it. You know, we all admitted to it. We all you know held each other accountable in that sense. Uh, but, you know, those are those are careless ones, you know, and then the ones I would say on the flip side, the turnovers we did get, we didn't do a good job of executing off of those turnovers. I think it was like seven turnovers we had and we got empty possessions out of them. So 
you know, you can look at it from that standpoint and say we could have been better in transition once we got our turn. And we'll take the last question from Ohm. Uh, Brad, I apologize if this was asked, but um, I know you had a camp with, with Russ and saw what it was like to play with him in camp and practice, but what was it like to finally be in a game with him? What, you know, we talk about his intensity level all the time, but how did you feel it now finally in a real game with him? I love it, you know, and granted it's only one game, but I just love his energy. I love his competitiveness, you know, and, and his accountability at the end of the day. I think that's what I love the most about him is I'm a type of guy, I want accountability. I want somebody to light a fire in front of me. I want somebody to tell me when I'm going wrong. You know, and it's not just Russ, it's everybody. You know, I tell all of our teammates, if, you know, that's the biggest step in accountability, I can't be the one bark and bark and bark. You know, I have to be able to take some of the bark. And, you know, if guys see me slack and if guys don't see me getting back on defense or whatever, I tell them, get on my ass about it. You know, so we, we hold that standard. I think Russ does that to a high, 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 high level. And, uh, and I think it's needed. You know, it's just a direct carryover to the rest of the team. You know, he brings the energy. He sets the tone for us. And, you know, we feed off of it. First start with myself. You know, you can't tell somebody else to do something if you're not doing it. Um, and, you know, through and being a leader, you got to be able to lead uh, when it's going well for yourself. Or when it's not going well, you got to lead regardless. And um, that's a part of my job. and something that I've, uh, you know, try to take pride in some growth in myself. Ben Standig. Hey, Russ, I was just curious, uh, what did you think of uh, Danny's performance in his uh, NBA debut? Um, I thought he was fine. I think he played aggressive, made the right plays, um, played solid. Um, just a start for him. Um, he, he, he's going to be good in this league. And then obviously for you, triple double in your first Wizards game. I know that's not a unusual stat for you, but I think it's the first time somebody's had that in their Wizards debut. Um, I guess what did you just think about your performance? Ah, uh, not good enough, man. I honestly, I'm kind of disappointed um, in myself. Just some some, some mishaps um, and plays where I could have been better, a better game, and try to win. I always, I don't like more victories at any point in my career. I love to go out and and win the game, and uh, I got to be better, and I'll be better next game. So, Fred, right. hey Russell, uh, Scott told us before that he thought one of the big things tonight was the turnovers, and I was just wondering uh, what you thought the issue was on turnovers tonight. No, it just plays, make trying to make the right play. Sometimes you get in the place for myself, get in a position to try. Um, thread the needle when I can just be aggressive, make the easy plays, whether it's a shot or a quick swing. Um, but um, I definitely need better in that area. But um, a lot of them I'm not mad at, actually. Just trying to make the right play I'm okay with. Uh, you know, we're in the process of this is our first game actually together and, you know, playing a full game. And there are going to be times where I, I may turn the ball over uh, just to make sure my teammates can know and be ready when I kick the ball ahead and I've done that. Um, so I'm okay with that. Some of them I could have could have saved, um, especially late in the game. Can't turn the ball over uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, which I'll be better at as well. And and speaking of learning to play together, at the start of the third quarter, you guys held them scoreless for like the first five and a half minutes or something. Can you can you feel the defensive momentum building up in moments like that? Definitely. I know that we got so special, um, and we want to defend and lead off our defense. And then. Um, for the most part tonight, I thought we did a good job. I mean, they didn't have too many, except the fourth quarter. I had a 40-point quarter, uh, which hurt us, obviously. Um, and that's something we got to be able to do, especially to close games out. Uh, Chase? Hey, Russ, you mentioned how it's a process, and this was the, the first game for you guys as a team. When you look at the late game execution, what are some things that you think need to be cleaned up moving forward? Um, I just think it was our defense. Um, offensively, we could score with the best time. We could score at, at will. We got good shots. Um, Brad got some good looks, wide open, mid-ranges that we live with. Um, defensively, we, we got to be better to close the game. Um, so that's that's where uh, we, we were going to look. Uh, Neil? Hey, Russell. Uh, coach was kind of staggering you and Brad a little bit. I'm curious, is there any difference when you're playing without Brad versus playing with Brad, or is it exactly the same? It's definitely different. 
and I guess how so in terms of does it change your approach? Are you more aggressive? Are you looking at different things? No, I mean I'm learning. I'm learning, but uh, Brad obviously on the floor, different dynamic. Uh, and whoever else is on the floor when I'm on the floor, I just try to figure out a bit and make sure we can keep the pace up and find ways to be able to stay, you know, at striking distance. Oh. Um. Hey, Russ, obviously, you know, you're a quarterback and you've said before, you're always trying to learn your teammates, try to put them in the best positions. I'm wondering tonight, what did you learn about Brad? I know you've gone through a camp and it hasn't been as long as maybe you guys would normally have, but now seeing it in action live and you got to taste it, what did you learn tonight about Brad and what you guys can do? Uh, that he's really, really good, you know, and uh, not just in scoring the basketball, but creating space, getting to his spots. And um, as I watch film, uh, once I get on this plane, I'll learn and see. Um, how I can be able to help him make the game easy for him as we kind of go along this journey. It's the first game and, um, you know, first and many. So we, we got to make sure, at least myself, got to make sure I can make the game easy for him along the way. This NBA game, you know, it's, it's always great. I mean, regardless of the loss, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated. You know, we lost. Uh, it wasn't easy. But uh, for me to go out there and, and play with my team and then compete, that's, that's a dream coming true. So I don't have any words to, to explain how much I worked hard for this and, and, and I prepared for this moment and you know, I did it. So that's behind me right now. Matt. Uh, hey, Denny. Uh, you had a couple good boxed outs on Joel Embiid tonight. Is that the, the biggest guy you've ever had to, to cover or box out? Um, he's definitely big, but um, I boxed out some big guys. Uh, don't 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 forget that I played professionally. I uh, handled some big guys uh, over over overseas. And, um, yeah, he's a big dude. So I need to uh, get low and just box him out. But it, it's part of part of what I do to just compete and help my team. Um, so it was the right moment. Uh, I went it, I went at it, and um, I guess I boxed him out. You know. Chase. Denny, your passing tonight really stood out, especially in the half-court offense. Um, what's it like being in, in this offense with the teammates that you have uh, as far as your passing ability? How, how does that complement them? Um, I enjoy passing. I like passing as part of my game. And if I can make my – I trust my teammates. I have great teammates around me. And if I can make plays for them and, and get them going uh, in the game, I'll do that. You know, if somebody's open, I'll hit them. But, um, you know, I have great, great – team around me to pass to, so uh, I couldn't be more happy. John? I think you're still muted, John, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Danny, uh, how nervous were you? Uh, Scott said, he said, you told me you're okay, but any time at first game is played, you expect uh, some nerves, was it more than you expected? Second. Will you hear me? I'll wait one second. Um, yes, I hear you now. Okay. okay. And and just you, you you were you a little more tentative than you expected to be? You only took those two shots. Say it again. You only took those two shots. Were you a little more tentative than you thought you'd be, or you know the, the nerves? Did they you know what was it like? Taking the two shots. Like what do you mean? Well, if, if, you only took two. You took one in the first quarter. Yes, one in the no. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But what, what's the question? Were you, was that just you were just looking to pass more and not looking to shoot or it just didn't uh, open up? Um, I mean, that's my first game. You know, I shot when I had the chance and I was open. Um, don't forget, it, it's the first game and everybody's excited. Um, I mean, I just, I just shot when I had the opportunity to shot, but I'm not forcing anything. So um, I'm going to be patient. It's only the first game, and, and of course, um, throughout the season, we're going to get better, and uh, hopefully, uh, we can win games, and maybe sometimes I'll take more shots. Yeah. And, and I don't know. I don't know if you heard my first question about nerves. I don't know who you talked to at home today. Just what it was like to finally get out in the court and and actually play a game. I, I don't understand your question. I'm sorry. Like you repeat it. Sure. Your first NBA game. I'm, yeah. I'm working for your hometown country and you're for, for Israel and just the feeling, knowing all those people back there are watching you, whatever the nerves were and just. Um, 
So I didn't have any nerves. I mean, everybody's talking to me positive, uh, positive, uh, positive things, and I just I'm glad I'm I came from, from Israel, and it, and the whole nation is behind me, and everybody supports supports me and wants my best for me. So um, uh, yeah, it's fun to play when you have a whole country on your back, and uh, hopefully um, we're gonna grind together, and, and and I'm gonna make them proud. So. I'm going to take a couple more. Fred? Hey, Danny. Um, how, how old were you when you feel like you first started to really understand team defense? Um, since I got into senior level, really, with Maccabi, um, coach was really tough on me to, um, I mean, just be there on time, um, in the right place, play together, help my teammates, and, and, and if I didn't do that back in the day, I, I wasn't I wasn't gonna play. So I really got it in my mind, and I really practiced in that. And um, you know, I'm all about team defense and helping help my teammates. So um, this this is part of my game. Thanks, Denny. Thank you. All right, that's all the time we have for Denny. Appreciate you. Oh, uh, you can. We doing in Hebrew? You can have you can have one in Hebrew. Yeah. Okay, great. תודה, דני. זה נתן גוטמן מכאן 11. תוכל להגיד לנו אולי לצופים בבית, לכל האנשים שקמו באמצע הלילה, איך הרגשת לעלות על הפרקט ואיך אתה מרגיש עכשיו? קודם כל, לעלות על פרקט NBA זה באמת חלום שמתגשם. אתה עוד לא כל כך קולט את זה, למרות שהיה לי כמה משחקי הכנה שבאמת הקלתי. כמובן שזה היה בלי קהל, שזה קצת שונה. אבל uh, לעלות על כל הפרקט הזה עם כל השחקנים שצפית שגדלת, זה, זה באמת מדהים. ואני באמת רוצה להגיד תודה uh, לכל מי שלקח חלק ב, ב, במשחק הראשון שלי. Uh, אני יודע שאתם מאחוריי, אני אוהב אתכם, ואני מקווה שנצליח ביחד.